Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to another exciting episode. Um, I don't know how this one's going to be, okay? <laughs> no, I know it's going to be a good time, but thank you guys again so much for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. Um, I want to give a huge shout out to Rogue Media Network with uh, Mason recording this episode. Uh, we just got done recording a really, really great episode with my girl, Rose Luhan, so big shout out to her. Um, now, before we continue, I definitely want to this opportunity to thank you guys again so much for all the love and support, and of course, give a shout out to some of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by David Santabanez, with a linear real estate. He's the number one sales agent in his office. He's going to help you buy a home or sell your property. Make sure you follow him on Facebook at David with a linear or call the number on the screen for a free in-house consultation, in-town consultation. Listen, just call David if you need a brand new home, okay? He's going to help you from start to finish. If you don't know what the process is going on, David's got you. So my boy, David, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the JB Auto Detailing with Joseph Blancas, who provides mobile detailing for all of Waco and the surrounding area, promising 100% satisfaction guaranteed. His entourage that Marika Raja walked in looked like they'd be leaving stains in the car. He can get those out, you guys. He, you know, if you got the bitches in the car and stuff like that? Yeah, no, no okay. They're, they don't have a sense of humor, do they? No, okay. <laughs> of course, the JB Auto Detailing. I appreciate it. Pricing and such at jbautodetail.net. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode. You can also hit him and Toby Lopez up with Solar Guard Surveillance, providing top of the line home surveillance systems for any property. Listen, they also provide home audio equipment, solar well pumps, solar lighting, solar gate openers, and so much more. All the top of the line home improvement. Call the number on the screen for all my small business owners. This is perfect for you, Solar Guard Surveillance. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, to Arturo's Frame, where Arturo y Eva de la Cruz, they do wood framing for houses and all remodeling. They also assist with building brand new homes. Hablan inglés y español. Call them on the screen for a free in-town consultation and follow on Facebook at Arturo's Frame. You guys, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, I have to give a big shout out to my boy Juan Morales with Waco Fencing and stuff. Listen, Juan is building privacy fences and chain link fences. Listen, perfect for all that extra at home privacy that you guys have been needing. Listen, the houses are gorgeous and everything, right? The lawns look beautiful, but you're missing that privacy fence. He also does demolitions, build wood decks, stone patios, and gorgeous, 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 absolutely gorgeous flower beds. Contact him with the number on the screen for your consultation to my boy Juan Morales with Waco Fencing and stuff. Thank you so much for all you do for me and the public affair. Congratulations to everything you're doing. I'll be seeing you out there doing your work, bro. That's it. That's all right, guys, so like I said, I don't know what's... Okay. <laughs> I've been really excited to actually meet this person in person. I've been excited to have him on the show. It's been way too long. Um, he is a renowned rapper in town. He's quite eccentric, the host of his own podcast. I don't have much words to say. He came in with the entourage. I don't know if I'm high sitting here. Um, but he has the security and the driver. He said, you're the top podcast in Waco, but I, was, I don't have a security or a driver. Listen, I'm so excited to welcome rapper, um, eccentric personality, and more Mr. Mo Rico Roger here on The Public Affair. How you doing, bro? How you doing? Man, what's up? Man, it's your boy. A whole lot of hey, hold on. Before we get started, okay, is, is this like a uh, can we cuss or you want me to keep it you clean? You can do whatever you want. All right, yeah. man, it's your boy Rico Rodgers and the bitch. Whole lot of motion, no whole shit. Yeah, you know the rest of the shit, man. What's up, Drew? What's yeah, up, hey, man? Nice. What we gonna, what we gone? I love that. What first of all, what why the headpiece and the goggles? What's going <clears> on there? And and do I look like I'm like 20 pieces of, like of people? Yeah, you definitely like, yeah, uh, I see like. At least six of you. Okay, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Shit, it's the goggles. <laughs> it's the goggles. But look, I just wanted to announce to the world that uh -huh. you know how they got hometown heroes. Yeah. Well, I'm the hometown villain, and I just wanted to announce that I'm here to take over the shit, you feel me? So that's why I came with my mask okay. and my goggles to let y'all know what the fuck going on. I love it. Okay, well, listen, I love the headpiece for sure. I don't know why you didn't bring me goggles and, and, go and a headpiece as well. You should have uh, just did that. We could have did it together. Oh, my you, bad, you got, bro. Everybody looks like ninjas over there. They got headpieces. That's I, not fair. Shit, okay. I, I didn't know you was a villain, bro. This is the villain squad. Uh, uh, listen, you feel me? I've been 100% that bitch for three years. Uh, I don't want to hear shit, okay? <laughs> yeah, I feel you, bro. I respect that all the way. No, honestly, I've always wanted to meet you. You've always shown me a lot of love on social media. You know, I've been a huge fan of your music career. I don't think a lot of people are good at what they do, but I do think that you're good at what you do. I do. I think that you're very smart um, with, with the personality. I think you have very good lyricism. I love your music. So I just want to let you know that I am a fan, and it's an honor that you're on the show. So thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. I, I appreciate that. Out of the way, man. A lot of people don't like to give me my flowers, so whenever I do get it. I'm giving you your flowers and your roses. I planted it in the dirt, <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? That's it's there to grow. You know what I'm talking about? Good. So, yeah, I appreciate that, bro. And respect all the way. And like I said, I, I've been seeing your podcast, and thank I feel you. like... You the biggest in the city, oh, and that's that's that. not step, not ain't stepping on nobody else's toes. Right. You feel me? Everybody right. got good podcast, but I just 
you know, I see you more than anybody else. Thank so. you. I, well, I uh, appreciate written. that. Thank you so much. That truly means the world to me. Now, listen, I, I want to get to know uh, Marika Roger, the personality, the rapper, the artist, the everything. But, you know, for my guests who are like, who is this guy that you have that is just looking extra as fuck? <laughs> who, can you just tell us a little bit about your life growing up and who Marika Roger is, please? All right, yo, yeah, um, I wanted to come extra, you know, because mm-hmm. I'm the type. I ain't the type to blend in. I'm the type to stand out. Okay. Like, I, I, I wanted you to click on here and be like, what the fuck do he got on? Yeah. As soon yeah. as you walked in the Alico building, I was like, oh, my God. Are yeah. we robbing a bank? The, Ale- <laughs> the, the Alico probably never seen no shit like this. Yeah, we, the security guard, she was like, what the fuck? We walked in looking like a, a fucking Grand Theft Auto crew. You know what I'm talking about? God. But, but yeah, uh, yeah, it's Rico Roger, man. <laughs> shit, you know, I, I, I try. Shit, coming up. Uh-huh. I say, like, I tell everybody that shit was sweet and sour. Like, it wasn't perfect, but okay. it wasn't just fucked up. Like, I had, it was like a roller coaster. Like, yeah, yeah. Should it be up? Should it be down? You talking be about up. the family dynamic? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, okay. Just living, like, growing up. Like, right. shit really wasn't never stable, but it wasn't just, like, so fucked up where I was, like, just couldn't do shit, you know, on some yeah. So, you know, but a lot of shit that I went through whenever I was younger built me to build up pressure now that I'm yeah. older. Like, I know that I think different than the average person. Most definitely. My, than the average person my age, you yeah, know, yeah. something like, like... What were some of the things that you had to go through? Like, some of the trials and tribulations that Marika Raja had to go... First of all, can we... can we Like, what is your name? Is that what you go by? Is your... Are we do, do I call you Mo or Rico or Roger or the okay. government name? Yeah. So, <laughs> Mo is really, like, the group that I'm in. It's like oh. M-O-E. And it's really just me and somebody else, you know, I'm talking about my boy T Raw. And that's mm. it's you can I really go by like two different things. It's yes. like music over everything or me over everybody. Oh, so is it Mo or like or is it you, supposed to be M O E No, nah, it's really both ways. Oh, okay. It's M O E or Mo. I don't go both ways. I only go one way. And so I just I needed she, to make sure I was too. getting it correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get into gays in your DMs in a minute. But no, I just <laughs> but oh. as far as Mo Rico Roger, the personality, so I'm not getting it wrong, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. give a shout out to your auntie. I love that. Are you guys having a good time back there? I don't think they they knew what they were getting themselves into. They probably never heard of the public affair there in their lives. Okay. They're right. You have you have? You have? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> What's their name? What's their name? Give them a shout out, Rico. Before you take them, yeah. Oh, uh, shout out to my boy Broadbands, okay. aka Nick with the stick. You know what I'm talking about. Yes. So you better not. <laughs> All I know is. Is he Nick with the stick? Like he has the stick. Or... We ain't even gonna <laughs> talk about that. Just don't okay. pop off, and then you might find that. I, okay. And then shout out to my boy, uh, my boy Noah. You know hey, what I'm saying? Noah, how you doing? That, that's my driver. He looks you know? like he can't wait to go back home. <laughs> he looks like he's ready to go back to the house. <laughs> yeah, he he's just off the drink too. No, okay. You know, we, what were you drinking beforehand, and why but, didn't you bring me? Now? I had the mimosas on deck. Man, I told you. before we pulled up, <laughs> yeah, we was drinking on moonshine. So I don't know. I feel like that would have been a little too much for me. Yeah, look. Do you think that would have been too much for me? Yeah, I think so. Because you talking about mimosas. You said you never And that heard. champagne and orange juice. That's we it. drink champagne. We drink tequila and orange juice. Hello, I've been drunk on the show off tequila and did my ads. Don't play with me. But then I almost get beat up on those episodes. So I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't want your entourage coming for me, all right? <laughs> At least one of them is good looking. So anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, so <laughs> as far as the circumstances... <laughs> As far as the circumstances of your life growing up, though, what were some of the things that you had to go and the hardships that you went through that made who you are today? Um, a lot of the shit. All right, so I really I ain't had no brothers or no sisters, okay. so uh, I really grew up like I had to learn a lot of shit by myself. Like my okay. people, they wasn't together. My mama, she had went to prison for a little bit, oh, so she? I was staying with my daddy, and he yeah. worked all the time. So for I'm sure. just doing whatever. Like, okay. so whoever I'm with, they help raising me, no matter like. What I'm rather it's good or bad, that's right. what I'm learning. But right, I learned I really just learned how to do shit on my own, like okay. not depend on nobody, like not follow nobody. Right, right. Like, do you think that was a good thing for you growing yeah, up? Yeah, yo, it was yeah, a good thing. Okay. I, I, I rather, I rather would have grew up like that. Like, yeah, for sure. I, I wouldn't want to be no follower. Like mm. that type of shit made me. I don't need shit from nobody. I don't yeah. need. I don't need love. I don't need a girl. I don't need. Friends, okay. you know what I'm talking about? Even though I got friends. We can be friends. Can... I want to be friends with you. I told you that. Yeah, you can be the homie. I ain't going <laughs> I'm the homie. I'm yeah, probably, yeah. I'll be your only gay friend. Yeah, that, yeah I'll be yeah, sure all the gay cool shit, You know what I'm talking about? I fuck with the gay community. You do know you really? I, I want to get into gays and hip hop and music in a minute. For sure. I do. All right, that's like, cool. I got lynched for that one time. Yeah, bringing, yeah. They thought I was trying to push my gay agenda on you guys. I was like, no, I'm not. I just I have a question about gay rappers. 
And I want to know if you would do a song with me, Mo Rico Roger. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about it. All right, so... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I yeah. guess it all depends if you got skill. Because that's really skill. how I depend on my, my feature. Like, whenever okay. I do a feature with somebody, mm -hmm. it depends on if they real as a person. Like, I don't do songs with, like, like fuck niggas. Gimmick. Or, like, yeah, okay. if I done heard, like, they ain't, they ain't on the shit they rapping about. Or right. if they done threw slugs at me and then they trying to oh, and then 360. Trying to, has that happened? Try to do has that happened? Oh, yeah, for shit show. But oh, wow, okay. But I ain't even gonna mention them because I'm bigger than them. Yeah, you know and I don't want to get beat up either. Okay, you know I can't fight. I told you that. <laughs> nah, you good <laughs> shit. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, that that's how that shit go. But like mm -hmm. how I do my features, shit. As long as you real, and if you got some, okay. or if you got some bread, then shit, Th we can work. Right, it's business. That's all it is. Yeah, yeah. Shit, so let I don't me let discriminate. me ask, let me ask you a question. I saw an interview with you recently. That's the, uh, you mentioned dropping out of high school. Yeah. Is that so? Is that still a thing? Um, wh why was the circumstances behind that, and why did you choose to do so? Because she, since I was younger, uh -huh. I I already knew that like what I was blessed with is to be a rapper. Like mm. how how I play with these words and shit. That's how that's what I was blessed yeah, with. Like sure. everybody blessed with the talent. Like how you blessed with podcasts and like yes. how you could talk and keep a conversation and shit. Uh -huh. I was blessed with how to um, vent or like how to. Put right how I'm feeling it. on yeah. a piece of words, cause I really don't got nobody to talk to, or mm -hmm. I don't want to talk to people okay. how I feel. So I put that shit in a song, and I learned how to put that shit in the, in, in good words where yeah, it sound sure. good and where people can relate to. Oh, okay, you know I see. Okay. So you thought that high school? I mean, do you, there's any regrets about that though? I mean, you're in your mid twenties. All right. right? So and, yeah. the only regret. It's not even about like the education. I wish I would have went to a college mm. and lived on a dorm so I can <laughs> go to uh uh what's it called a frat frat party? Oh, a frat party. Okay. Yep, yeah. Or a sorority. Is <laughs> Maybe that the it's men? not too late. Uh, how old are you? I'm 26. You're so still young. Go back to school. Man, you can do it. I, yeah. I still got to get my I I got to get my diploma. Now. I was gonna say, do you have any plans to get your GED and all that? Or? I don't know, man. <laughs> shit, because to me, bro, I see a lot of people that yeah. I see a lot of people I went to school with that uh -huh. used to like look down on people that ain't graduated, but I'm doing better than them. You know oh, what I'm okay. talking about? Like hey, they man. they graduated from high school, but they ain't doing shit with. They ain't go to college or. None of that shit. So <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> no, I but I would sure, go yeah. like I would go to college just for the experience, yes. like to live on a dorm and right, go right. to parties and all that. But I don't know. I feel like I'm a little too old for I it. Like you. that shit for like twenty five and under. I'm twenty six, so I need to go and get I on the ball. It's time to get rich. You're still you young. Me? Yeah. No. Well, when you get rich, please take me with you so I can live on the yacht and some man can make me his sugar daddy. Yeah. His sugar baby. Yeah. What? But, yes, please. Okay. I just I leave, me in I leave me in Turks and Caicos. Okay. We'll be all right. <laughs> I I'll give you a podcast, but you gotta. It ain't no sugar baby shit. It's a business. You gonna have to break me out just like anybody else. You feel? I'll give you percentage. I told you that. I did. Okay. Yeah, hey, can we give a shout out? You have a cousin that was on the show who I love. Mary Jane. Is she your cousin? Yeah, that's my blood cousin. I love her. She's so sweet. Yeah, shout out to Mary Jane, man. And my blood cousin. She really liked my big sister. Like I said, yeah. I ain't had no brothers and sisters, but yeah, I only got one aunt, and she had a lot of um. My cousins and for sure, for Mary sure. Jane, like my big sister, yeah, closest definitely. thing to a big sister. So. I got you. Okay, listen, let's get right into the career. I want to know more about, you know, how you became who you are. Let's talk about the early career. What inspired you to be a rapper? Like, why, why choose that lane of music? I really don't even feel like I chose it. Like, I feel mm. like it was chose Like it was for destined me. for you. Yo, like, okay. that's really, like, since, I say, like, since third or the fourth grade. Yeah. Like, shit, that's, like, me and my homeboy, like I said, my homeboy T-Raw, we used to be, like, recording off of cell phones, MP3 players in oh, fourth wow. and fifth grade. Okay. So I feel, and I just stayed, like, I always had that shit in, like, even when, like, in, in middle school and high school, I thought I was going to play football, but I had rap second. And yeah, when yeah. the football shit didn't work since, like, uh, my 10th grade year, I went from... Rap all the way. I put my my focus in the rap. Yeah, all I feel the like way. he's throwing gang signs back there. I'm scared. Like, <laughs> Shit, he <laughs> might be. You better watch something? him. Yeah, okay. We in the Alico like and we came. There's like a sign language going on. We back came here. to brand some <laughs> shit. We in the Alico. I ain't never been in the Alico. Yeah, but cap on what? Are you? Is he capping about? Middle school, Rico. Yeah. Huh? Tell him about middle school. Rico. What happened with middle school? Did you get heartbroken in middle school? 
Oh wait, what uh, happened? That, the way Ethan changed. Yeah, see, this is why you. I'm I, glad that you have a good posse behind you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. What happened in middle in middle school? Fucking ten years I'll ago. I say like. Yeah. <laughs> All right, seven, okay. I'll say seventh, eighth grade was yeah. whenever I dropped my first hits. Like I had hits on MySpace. <laughs> And you, but I was in middle school though. Yeah. And, and I had songs like I got a song that's on my YouTube to this day. It'd be like 55k on that bit, and okay. I, I made that bitch whenever I was in the eighth grade or yeah, seventh yeah. grade. And I did a, a Marvin's Room remix with Drake. Oh, yeah, but, for sure, I know that one. Yeah. But yeah, I I was young, but shit. Since since what made me like a dog eye on the day, mm-hmm. shit, I don't know, bro. I just had like. You just seemed like you were always passionate about it. Like you were very driven for success. Like it sounds like this is something that you were destined to do. And Yo, yeah, bro, cause shit, like I can't live average, bro. Like right. I almost rather die than to I go have, to work every day and absolutely. just absolutely. I have to say and, too, in a lot of the music videos that I've seen, Marika Roger, you seem to be the stand out. Like you, you seem to be the one that catches my attention. Like the other people, they weren't on my show. <laughs> like I know for real, yeah. I see you, and no, no shade to anybody else. I'm just saying, like you know what you're doing in terms of like shock value, in terms of grabbing people's attention, and I think that's a very smart business tactic as a rapper. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, for sure, so bro. Like <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like people, like if you just look at my statuses and shit, like because I do, a, I say a lot of funny shit on there, yeah. but yeah, so people me. think because you funny, you dumb. That's oh, what they put I together, see. but like, bro. Same, same, I know, understand that. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> so I do a lot of research, right. and you know what I'm saying? I know what I'm doing whenever I say what I'm saying or mm. I do what I'm doing. Yeah, I, can I talk to you? So you, you brought your entourage with you here today, right? And I know that a lot of rappers, like when you guys are on stage and you guys are performing, there, there's always people on stage with you and there's people behind you, right? Yeah. So did you lose a lot of people on your way up um, in your career? And like, were there people that dropped off like flies and then people that got reinvited? And, and how did you how did you handle all that? See, we don't do no reinvites. That's the thing oh, okay. with fucking with me, bro. Because I I'm <laughs> I so, love this one. <laughs> I'm so stand up, bro. I'm yeah. so 100, bro. If you fuck me over, it's because you a fuck nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you fuck me over, then it's over with. Like, I sometimes, if you ain't do shit too wrong to me, I won't need no get back. I just won't fuck with you no okay, more. You. But if you fuck me over hard, then I'm going to have to get my get back. Whether it takes one month or five to six years, it don't matter. But So what do you do to get back? Do you write, like, a hard rap or do you nah, go fight them? we ain't. Nah, or I you got about the hands. <laughs> I, I'm I'm gonna fuck they bitch, or if I see oh them in God. person, I'm gonna slap the shit out of them. Don't f my bitch, okay? Please don't. Like, that, that, well, I don't have any bitches to fuck, so you good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. good. You you do the dude, so you got out of them. I ain't even tripping on it. Yeah. You are crazy. Listen, no, but okay. So, but have you had to endure a lot of that in your career though? Like, were there people that? unfortunately like were there people that you were close with that unfortunately just kind of dropped off yeah bro a lot right. like i had a lot of people like that was like brothers to me you know what i'm saying yeah, but sure. i don't know i guess like they ain't had the same drive a, a couple of them ain't had the same drive or we ain't had the same views yeah. so she it went up like that and then like that's how you know whenever you go up yeah and the people that are close to you go down like that's how envy start like they mm-hmm. like damn why him and not me you know oh, what i'm saying is that right okay. even though i'm not doing that much like people still feel like see how other people show me love and they'll yeah. be like damn why they ain't showing me love even though they ain't putting in oh, the yeah, same sure. type of work or money that i'm putting in and yeah shit, for sure you know what i'm saying so and then like all people had to do was keep it real, but like whenever you get to throwing slugs or yeah. like trying to make me look bad on the low, or like you know people that I fuck with, and, or people that I don't fuck with, and sure. you like fucking with eight shit talking about me, then shit is fuck. I got you. you. I I can really shit like I said I ain't had no brothers or sisters so okay I oh, I so can so move it's one it's nothing yeah I yeah. can move one deep bro I don't, oh, I don't wow. do nothing but no, I I got you I got but you. I got people I fuck with though you know yeah. what I'm saying if you fuck with me. And I fuck with you probably harder than you fuck yeah. with me. And that's just Can how I ask go. you a question? Do you wear that headpiece in bed sometimes? Oh, uh, I wear <laughs> no, nah, I wear do rag to sleep. Oh, no, I'm not bed. talking about in bed. I'm talking about like when you're fucking bitches. <laughs> yeah. Oh, know? yeah. Yeah. Like, she, do, you, do you I, wear that sometimes? I'm curious to know. Like, I, I think I really hot. just got yeah. this whole. I really, I be On in the, the way bl- up here. <laughs> nah, I, I got this whole just for the show. You know you what I'm talking about? Yeah, just. Wait, the headpiece and the goggles, or you always had the goggles? Both of them. 
I had, I always okay, had a regular black fucking, one like my you, homie. Wait, is that why you bitches were late? Because you guys stopped at fucking Spencer's? Huh? Hell yeah, no. <laughs> they, they were 30 minutes fucking They late, already right? had that. <laughs> hey, my boys already had that ski mask. Ready uh, for action. You why know, is a ski mask? I'm, I scared me, me when you pulled up. <laughs> I, I found my shit. Yeah. Like, I say, man, whenever I go to bro podcast, I'm finna go up there. Thank you Looking so different as hell. Perfect. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so, but, 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 but when you're fucking somebody's bitch, do you wear that in bed? Oh, uh, it depends, bro. Yeah. She she most likely want to see how I'm looking, so I probably don't. But if she want to get on some, yeah, can I borrow that for when somebody comes to my house? I can make him wear it. Yeah, hey, <laughs> you can't borrow it. if you make somebody do something in my mask like that. You can have it. Yeah, you no, can. Yeah. We'll, we'll frame it. We'll put it like a taxidermy. Yeah, you can have we'll, that big. We'll hey, well, like, I ain't taking it back after that freaking shit. I got you. Listen, bro, you're obviously, oh, like, he's done back there. He's done. <laughs> you're an amazing <laughs> rapper. I, like I said, I've been very, very much a fan of your wordplay. But what are the tactics in writing your music? Do you, do you get high? Do you drink? Do you, is there life circumstances behind it? Or, or tell all me right. about it. Yeah. Yo, it's really like a, a mix of um, all of them. Like, mm -hmm. I don't just rap for fun. Yeah. Like, it got to be like if I'm feeling a certain type of way. Yeah. Like I said, I ain't got no therapist. I ain't got nobody to just say how I'm feeling. So I find me a beat, yeah. and I put away how to describe how I'm feeling on there. Mm -hmm. And it can be like shit. It could be some hard shit. It could be some auto-tune, vibey shit. Okay, but, yeah, for sure. But either way, I got to put how I'm feeling on there. Right, right. Like, it got it got to come from the heart. I can't just rap because I want to rap. Okay, got it, you. I got to rap because I got to rap. So nobody gives you a song. No, nope. Like, no. unless they want me on the feature, unless they want me yeah. to do, like, a second verse on their shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Do they write it for you at that point? or do you No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. it's your job to go no, in there. Okay. Nobody can never write my song for I don't me. think they can. No. Nah. There's nobody that can do it. No, like what I'm saying, well, you're, you're, I think that you stand out from a lot of the other rappers in town. I think that everybody pretty much sounds the same. But you, just, like, the way that you say your words and the rasp in your voice and just, like, sonically, it sounds so unique. And I say that, like, you know, to you as a fan, you know Yo, what I mean. And so, was respect. there a lot of practice behind that? You know, or like, did you want to stand out on purpose? Uh, like that's really how I just ended up sounding. But I'm gonna tell you like this: like mm -hmm. whenever I was younger, like like I said, I've been rapping since I was in middle school. Yeah. But you know, you ain't hit puberty when you in middle school, so I, my voice was kind of light. So I used yeah. to pray to God, like, <laughs> God, please bless me with a uh, a clean voice whenever I, I rap. <laughs> nah, for real. Yes. So, and then she whenever. I Whenever I got older and my I grew into my voice, like yeah. my voice do stand out. My shit is clean, for so sure, sure. I, I got what I wanted. Cause my voice wasn't always like this. Whenever right. I, I had to hit puberty and shit, yeah, yeah, for me to feel like or my can voice you, sound like this. Can you recall the first time you ever freestyled a rap like in front of people? Like, how did you do? Did you fuck it up or? I really can't remember the first time, but yeah. I done did this shit so many times since I was younger, oh, bro. Like, like, yeah. like that shit. Like, this rap shit, bro, whenever I do it, I do it in every single aspect. Like, I practice on my rapping. I practice on my singing. I practice on my freestyle. Because I want to be the best at every single, like, different skill whenever it comes to rapping. Yeah. So, a lot of people, when they say they freestyle, they doing some sh uh, old verse that they remember off their head. Oh, but I, I could really, like, think of words and shit yeah. while the beat's playing. Like, I could really, and a lot of people can't do that. But I, got I, you. I respect anybody that can. Though. Have you done a raw session at the private hip-hop headquarters yet? No, I haven't, but Why shit. not? I, I plan on it for I love sure, that though. it's called raw sessions, by the way. I just... <laughs> Free game, nigga, man. <laughs> nah. I love that it's called raw sessions. Like it's a session that's raw, right? Like, I, I just nobody haven't... hits this raw. I'm just saying, like, yeah. <laughs> I just ain't shit. You man. know, I, I'm really like a perfectionist, so I don't want to just like. It's yeah. really hard for me to like. All right, I'm gonna do this song because right, I, sure. I be having so many to choose from. <laughs> <laughs> and shit, I gotta pick the best one, Absolutely. so I, that's why I ain't did it. But I do plan on doing it. Shout out to that boy. Yeah, I love though. Prescription. He was just on this show. He's always been so kind with me too. No, I did yeah. see him though. That's where, Shout out that that's boy. where I first saw your first interview was on the Private Hip Hop Head, uh, the Private Hip Hop Podcast. So, no, for real. And I was like, oh, I've got to meet this guy. I I told that Prescription on his show, on his episode here. I said I've got to meet Mariko Roger. Actually, we had announced on that episode that we booked you. So yeah. Well, listen, bro. We're gonna take a quick break, okay? But when we get back, I want to learn more about your career. I want to learn more about the somewhat hiatus that you're taking and that you announce um, you know the podcast that you have coming out and more um, DMs the gays everything okay but when we get back Man. we're gonna have more with Mo Rico Roger here on the public affairs makes you guys stay tuned it's your boy <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this eccentric episode of The Public Affair with my very special guest, MLE or Mo right, Rico Roger. Before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by Banda's Hauling Service with Julian and Ana Banda. They rent dump trailers. You fill it up and they're going to haul it away. If uh, your car breaks down like his did just a few weeks ago, just call them. They'll come tow it. No, they will. That's what they do, all right? They also do junk removals and tree brush removals and haul cars in and out of town to Banda's Hauling Service. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Blue Star RV Services with my boy Manny Guerrero, a mobile RV tech who fixed all RVs, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and even food trucks. Listen, the food trucks be breaking down. You need somebody to come fix it. He's got you, all right? Listen, uh, professional and reliable. Follow on Facebook and call the number on the screen to Blue Star RV Services. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Strike a Pose Photography with my girl Myra Rosales, a digital photo booth business, perfect for parties, private events, corporate events, and so much more. It's fun, it's convenient, it's easy. And if my boy Rico Roger needs his own private photo shoot, he's just got to call Myra Rosales with the number on the screen and she's got him. That's it. All right, the Striker Post Photography, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Fernando de la Rosa with Big Bear Lawn Care, a small landscaping business. Listen, the lawns are looking a hot ass mess, okay? Get them taken care of with Big Bear Lawn Care who specializes in mowing, edging, mulching, and so much more. Call the number on the screen now for a free quote to Big Bear Lawn Care with Fernando de la Rosa. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, I can't go on without thanking my boy Sid Rodriguez with Elite Barbershop located on Hewitt Drive. Call the number on the screen to book or download the Squire app. Walk-ins are welcome as well. He has Marcus Guerrero, Chris Reyes, Santos Cordova, David Rodriguez, Isaac Chavez, Clint Fletcher, and Isai Reyes over there making you like a snack as I have for more than 173 episodes of The Public Affair. I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're going to get right back into it. My boy, Mo Rico Roger is in the building. What are you doing over here? What are you What are you possibly doing over here? I, I don't know what's going on. I think the mimosa fucked him up, right? Did the mimosa fuck him up? Are you done here? Are you done? I'm back. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I, was I, the, was I, the I just want you to hold the glass and don't ever drop it again. Okay. I, I, who dropped? I dropped the take glass. Take the glass home with you as a souvenir. All right, bitch. There you go. Listen. Hey, what what are your, what are your DMs all about? Like you know, I, I know that you mentioned that you know you're you're always fucking you know dudes, bitches, and shit like that or whatever. But do sometimes the gays be in the DMs too, and you got to tell them you got to put them in their place. Of what's going on? Man, bro. Right, is, is anybody in your entourage down? Or, no, I don't think they don't. <laughs> All right, look, bro. Let, let's talk about my DMs. Yeah, let's man. talk about the DMs, All right, bro. So, <laughs> I went on my recruit on my uh, message request on yeah. Instagram. Okay. And they had like vision blurred, and you know me, I'm like, what the fuck is that about? Yeah. So I clicked on it, bro, and it was a video of a dude uh -huh. giving another dude fellatio, bro. Oh and, wow! And I Somebody say, sent you that. Uh, yeah, Nobody's I, even sending me that. I was definitely <laughs> like, <laughs> "What the hell? What the fuck?" Who's uh, somebody from here send it to you? Like somebody in town? Yeah, uh, I don't know. You don't bro. have to name them. Don't name them because I'll get beat up. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do that much research. I was definitely like, "Yeah," because you know that ain't my lane. That's not your lane. Yeah. So <laughs> that lane was merging with my lane, and I was yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, boy, you gotta get the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? This the wrong. Wait, so at that point, do you block them or do you say, "Hey, that's not what I'm into"? No, right? yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna block them. It ain't. You know, I would never do that to you. Yeah, I, yo, I, never... I appreciate that. Well, bro. I did. I did tell prescription that if you would cut the Dallas Shag that I slide in your DMs, but like, <laughs> well, at that point, you know, it's my Shag forever. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? But, I did. I said he'd be so cute without the Dallas Shag. Yes. Y'all, but you know what I'm saying? Rico, I fuck with the gays, man. Yeah. But me, that ain't even ever been a, a, a thought of what some type of shit that I'd be on. You For know sure. what I'm saying? But I got family, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of, I got a couple family members that's gay. So, mm. you know, I love them, man. And, I, you know, I support them. It's whatever. I love that too. No, you know, it wouldn't make a difference to me, but, you know, can gays exist in hip hop in 2023? I mean, it, I guess it depends. All right. So, I respect. A gay rapper that say he's a gay rapper yeah. versus a I'm rapper that's it. like trying to act like he's hard oh, or see. all that, but he really gay on the low. Okay. Yeah, oh, you know what I I'm see. saying? Yeah, yeah, because you like, like authenticity. Yeah, like yeah, like sure. you heard. I, I know it was like some crip gay rapper. Did you hear about? I him? didn't he hear was, about that. Tell us. Yeah, I, I really don't know, but I know he was from Dallas or something. Okay. He was like a, a gay crip rapper, and um, he was blowing up or whatever, but. You'll respect that versus like yeah. 
a rapper that's like trying to act like he just so hard, like just hard. And, but he really I got getting you. his butt busted. You well, know what I, I'm I get my butt busted regularly. And so, but, but, <laughs> hey, but, but what, what you were saying is But if that you said it, you re- respect yeah, so you, it So though. you want me to make sure I put that in my music but and staying true to myself, though. Is that what you're saying? Like You don't want me to yeah. act like I'm not about that life. You would rather me be about that life and have it translated my music. Yeah. <laughs> They're back there dying and we shouldn't have given them the mimosas. <laughs> no, but no, but that's what I'm saying. So you you would much rather me like so if I was a rapper. Yeah. You would much rather me be Andrew G, the gay rapper instead of me trying to be like somebody that I'm not yeah. and, and put on a facade. Yeah. So so you you it sounds like Mo Rico Roger respects a um, creative artistic individuality. Yeah, like yeah. I, I feel like it, as long as you keep it real, uh, nobody can expose you. That's it. That, I've been keeping it real on the show for three years. That's why everybody, I think that's why everybody fucks it. And the hood fucks with me, too. I feel so safe. Yeah. Yeah, somebody told me that the North, South, and East got my back. And I, So if somebody's going to come for me, will you whoop their ass for me, please? I'll bail you out of jail. All right. <laughs> we'll uh, get you, yeah. <laughs> I, I might send somebody for you, you know so what I'm saying? It might not be me, but you I'll send somebody for you. You got fucking security? Look, he's the sniper rifle over here. <laughs> hey, would you... Would you tap into other genres? Is that something that you've always wanted to um, explore? I mean, I mean, you obviously do really good with the wordplay and as a rapper. But yeah. Is there anything uh, like another genre of music that you always wanted to like kind of experiment with? Yeah, I really can do. I could do any genre because like yeah. I'm just good with my words. So all I need to hear is a beat. It could be Spanish. It could be jazz. Yeah. It could be rock. It could be R and B. Yeah, for sure. I, I could. I'm gonna come up with a verse for it, and it's gonna sound good. Like I I'm, got you. I'm just so there's no challenge too tough for you is what you're saying. Yeah, like yeah. Th- this is what I put my whole work into was yeah. to be able to make good music. So oh, rather it's whatever beat I'm gonna adapt to it and we gonna smoke it. I like that. Yeah. So you're not scared to take on anything that anybody brings at you, and as long as there's a check attached to it, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. So. Yeah. Listen, is there a song that you just absolutely hate performing? I know a lot of artists like they'll they'll have to like sing the same song over and over again because it's like you know crowd you know that's what they want and everything. Is there something that you just like? Oh, I cannot stand doing this song. Oh, uh, I would say like uh, my song. I got a song called Cooler. Okay. I like uh, it, it's really like a lot of people know it and they like it, but me. I don't like it because I made it in 2018, oh, so okay. I feel like, you know, when you look back at your old work, mm-hmm. you're like, man, that shit trash compared to oh, really? where I'm at now. Do but other like- people like it, but right. you uh, might not like it because you know how good you are Does that make now. you regret doing it? Or no, like, I, don't, yeah. I don't regret doing it. Yeah. I just don't do it. Like, <laughs> Rico, one thing about Rico, I'm going to do what I want to do, and I ain't going to do what I don't want to do. Oh, I see. That's one thing about So me. you're not a sellout? Yeah, no, nah, yeah. for shit show. Oh, okay. I don't give a fuck about nothing. It, I'm going to do what I feel like doing. Yeah. Has that proven um, beneficial in your career? You know, to just kind of go against the grain and just do what you want to do? Or do you think that sometimes you have to take the bait? Um, It ain't proved beneficial, but mm-hmm. it's just like, that's just me, bro. And I can't change nothing about me. That's like, it. Yeah. I'm low. I'm already come with low energy. Like, I don't feel like doing shit. So, yeah. I ain't, I really ain't gonna do shit I don't want to do. I really <laughs> don't be want to do shit I want. I don't even yeah. want to do shit I want to do. <laughs> if you if that makes sense. Hey, but. at least he wanted to come on the public affair like that. Thank you. Yo, <laughs> yeah, I fuck with that yeah. man. I, I been want to come on here. You, I appreciate it. You low key should have been had me on. I should have. I, I said that. You know, I've said that on the show. I said I don't know what took me so long to invite you. I think I was scared to reach out to you. You want to know why? I honestly didn't think you would want to do it. A lot of people find me intimidating. They do. A lot of people think that I'm like extra. I'm gonna be too gay with them, and I, I didn't think you'd want to. So I was really happy when you said you would. Nah, I ain't. Shout out to your prescription. Prescription was the one that encouraged me to reach out to you. See, man, yeah. me, I'm I'm confident in my sexuality. Like I know who I am. Like you could say gay jokes and shit. Right. Like I don't give a. F- I ain't gonna be like. What the fuck did you say? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, your friends fuck? think it's funny too, so that's that's all good. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna get offended. I, I yeah. know like I know that you playing, like you know I'm that I'm kidding. straight yeah. and that's shit. It. So shit. My my brothers, you know, my two of my best friends, they're straight men with wives. So, you know, I'm not trying to sleep with them. Yeah. They're gorgeous. I'm just not trying to sleep with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For shit <laughs> show. Yeah. Let's talk about the local music scene. Okay. So you've obviously collaborated with tons of local artists, but also artists that are rather big too. I mean, you've had songs with Waco Tron, a Mexican OT who I want to interview too. See, I, I, I ain't have a song with him. That was my boy Big R. Oh, you weren't on that song? Are you sure? 
Yeah, no, nah, that was that was Texas okay. Joe Big Texas, R. Oh, you're right, you're right, Texas Mex- Joe Big R. Mexican but I, I had a song with uh, Peso though. Yeah. Peso, Peso. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. I'm so, I said Mexican Joe. I'm sorry, Peso, Peso, Peso. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I did, I did fuck that up. Um, but talk to me about the local artist scene here in Waco. Is there people that you are fans of, or are there some that you think need work? You know what I mean? Or, or, what's your opinion? Yeah, I, I got some people on fans of like, uh, shout out my boy Texas Joe, like. I he, want him on the show too. He I really do. next to yeah. blow, bro. Like if you ain't behind, bro, mm-hmm. then you really hating. Like a lot of people. I think he's phenomenal. I think he's yeah, phenomenal. He, he he get a lot of views. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He got views from the right people, and he go hard. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. It ain't no reason not to support him. Yeah, for sure. And I I really I've been fucking with Texas Joe like before. You know what I'm saying? His way got started like. Mm. So I was so you know the shit genuine. And me and yeah, bro like sure. we fuck with each other like. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I don't fuck with nobody on no music shit uh-huh. if I don't fuck with them as a person. I got you. You know what I'm you. saying? So if you check out my features and shit, it'd probably be the same couple of people. Yeah. But like so the I, people that you do music with, I mean, you genuinely like their music. I and, genuinely yeah. like like their music and, and I fuck with them as a person. Oh, okay. I, I don't see. give, like, you can go hard, but if I don't fuck with you as a person, bro, like if I done heard some fuck shit about you yeah. or seen you do some fuck shit, then I ain't gonna want to. But do you no know they say that you. I don't have to like you to make money with you either. I've done plenty of hostings with with niggas I just can't fucking stand. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? DJs that I can't stand. And I do, and listen. If there's a check attached to it, let me do my little two. Right? Let me do my two hours and I'm out of here. Right? Well, see, at this point <laughs> where we at right now, yeah. ain't no check attached, so it oh, ain't no time attached to them. You feel me? Hey, fair enough. Like if fair they enough. if they did have a check, then maybe I think about it. But they ain't got yeah. no check, so shit. Have you have you done music with artists here in town that you thought might need? More, I don't know, artist development, any help in that aspect? Um, but no disrespect. No, like, I think criticism is important. I do. I think that if somebody is not good at yo, something, they should I know. It. And, and so I, this this question is not to diss anybody by any means necessary. This is just, like, you know, your opinion as a rapper. See, really, I don't do music with, like, so I put a lot of years and music into okay. my shit to at least get the little bit of clout and shit that I got. So Most definitely. If you just start rapping, like, yesterday, <laughs> and then you want to feature with me, bro, I ain't going to do it, bro. <laughs> you got to have yeah. some type of clout or movement okay. for me to do a song with you. Oh, I see. So if you, if you just, like, only got, like, one or two songs, bro, I ain't gonna take you seriously because oh, anybody could drop one or two songs and then you never hear from them again. But what if I just started, right? But and then I say, hey, here's my track, and if you like it, please get on it. Would you do it? I mean, if it was good, if it was really good, yeah. If it was, and good. it's about like tits and ass. <laughs> yeah, if it was just, good, yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't about dangling. <laughs> <laughs> and it was that booty or something that yeah, we could yeah. do it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? As long I, you know, as it sounds good. I don't like making bad music. Like right. sometimes even for the chick, if the song just too trash, I'm not gonna, gonna do it. it. I got you. You know, and you know what too? Like I've done plenty of events where a lot of you rappers are there. You know what I mean? And I've hosted a lot of those events. Some of them really lack stage presence. Yeah. And I think that with you, you don't lack stage presence. Like you, I think that even in your music videos, you always have this energy to you that's like rivaled. That should be rival. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So do you, do you feel that way about some of your peers that maybe some of them should like kind of step it up on stage? Because you're really not giving me shit. You the, the song is great, but you're just kind of standing up there. It's like a karaoke contest. Oh. Um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm out. Like I'm not. I'm checked out. See yeah. who I, I really fuck with on the music shit. Like the toughest is gonna be my boy Tex. Like I said, Tex Joe show, and my yeah. boy Northside Nino. Oh, shout like, out to him. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Northside Nino and them boys. They. They got it all, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that they don't, they stage presence and stuff. For sure. So, she, I really don't fuck. Like, I'll support, like, show support to a rookie or something, but mm. if you ain't got it, then I really ain't just paying attention. But, yeah. Like I said, I fuck with them boys genuinely. That's, so. that's when you have to fight for your life, though, is when you're on stage. I mean, I feel like that's everything. Don't you know? And we talked about yeah. it too. Like when Prescription was on the show, he he really gets bothered when a lot of people don't have like a backing track or they just kind of play their MP3 audio in the background, and then it's like a karaoke contest. I, yeah. Like you, he he gets. I remember him telling me if I if I misquote this, forgive me. But he he was saying that he gets a lot really disappointed with the artists that don't have like. A, a stage track, you know what I mean, and it's like, okay, here's my song from YouTube playlist, and I'll go up there and sing with it, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Do you feel the same? So, uh, like, like with that type of shit, mm-hmm. I learned how to like, you gotta interact, you gotta interact with the crowd, yeah, like, you gotta definitely. rather they talking to you, you gotta talk to them, yeah. you gotta pop some shit, 
So they could either react to the shit that you popping or they can just stand there and listen to it. But you got to pop your shit either way that it go. And I done learned from the last couple of shows that I did when I was popping shit, like, they started, like, getting more hype. Yeah. Rather they learned, rather they knew what song I was finna play, yeah. or if they knew who I was, they heard me popping that shit, so they wanted to hear oh, I what see. I had to say. I got you, I got you. Yeah, I like to take advantage when they mic in my hands, because like you I said, I, I don't like to talk a lot yeah. like as a person, but whenever I got like the audience to talk to, yeah. rather it's performing uh-huh. or on the podcast, then I got some shit to say. I love it so much, and you're doing amazing. Listen, um, you mentioned, if I've not mistaken on social media that you were kind of stopping rapping for a second or maybe that you were taking a hiatus or can we clear the air on what's going on there yeah like you know um that rap shit costs a lot of money so yeah and whenever you got real life shit going on mm-hmm. you got to focus on that shit first and right. then you get back to the music shit so oh, okay like uh right now my car is fucked up it got total somebody hit me so I'm oh, waiting shit. on them to fit my insurance, fit my shit. Yeah. So in the meantime, I'm not worried about like dropping the video, but I know as mm. soon as I get back in traffic, okay. this shit gonna be off the rip, and it's gonna be some hard. Yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna keep dropping back. That to was back. that was kind of my next question too, though, because since you are taking a bit of a hiatus in music, do you, do you think that that hurts your career, or do you think that you're so nice that when you do get back into it, it's like it's seamless and nothing happened? Nah, like. Like, right now, bro, I ain't on, so it really can't hurt my career shit. Okay. I ain't on, but whenever I get back on that shit, though, like, once I start getting emotion going, mm. it, it got to keep going up and up and up. Right. So I, I can't ever go back down. But right now, my emotion is, like, it's just steady right now. Mm-hmm. But I need it to go up. Yeah. And then, and then once I go up, this shit ain't going is there, back down. Is there something, because you even, like, so you announced you had a podcast, too, or you, you yeah. did put out an episode of a podcast. Yeah. And, and so, you know, I, and I got to watch a little bit. I loved, loved, loved the video quality of it, by the way. Wherever you did that shit was amazing. Shout out to uh, my boy, One Mind. Yeah, amazing, yeah. amazing. Do you do you find yourself unmotivated sometimes, Mo? Like, do you, do you find yourself, like, you know, hey, I'm just kind of throwing in the towel here. I mean... Because, like, you know, you're taking a hiatus from music. You put one episode out of the podcast. But I wonder you, as as an artist, as a developer, like, if you think that, you know, there's things that just kind of hinder you from proceeding. No, nah, I'm never unmotivated. Like, yeah. I, I'm really, like, I always want to get to my crab, bro. But sometimes, like, shit, just like anybody else, right. motherfucker get overwhelmed with stress, bro. And That's sometimes true. you yeah. just got to, like, take a break and collect yourself and, yeah. and figure out, what the fuck going on? Yeah. What you finna do to fix your problems of what's going on? Right. So. So you're gonna come back in full swing at some point. Yeah, for sure. Show yeah. like I'm. I still. I already <laughs> got like plenty of songs recorded. Yeah. They just sit in my phone. All I gotta for do sure. is shoot a video to them and drop them. And you're good. But I, I want to be in the right position before I drop them. Like, I got you. I, like I got real life shit going on. Yeah. But I handle that shit. Within this month, and I'm gonna get back on this oh, shit, okay. and, and I'm gonna be on it. So we're not, yeah. we're not, we're not looking at a long term. Nah, hell no. Okay. I don't know <laughs> well, because this. you can't, you can't just drop your dreams over, you know, the car breaking down. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I understand. Fight. Listen, we just talked about it in the last episode. We're on the struggle bus. You know yeah. I mean, yeah. But I, I don't want to see you lose your passion because I do think that your stage presence and lyricism is like to be rivaled in town, and I, I want to see you keep going. Yeah, it it it'd be hard to lose my passion, bro. Yeah. Cause like, uh, my passion is to not be stuck in the same same place like yeah i don't want to be in a job where somebody if i fuck up somebody can fire me then uh, i okay. don't have no money no yeah, more yeah. like you want to be your own boss i want to be my own boss i want to be in position to where nobody can fire me and yeah. i can take care of my family and you know what i'm saying That's can't nice. can't nobody stop me it's just me handling my own business yeah. nobody above me that can just be like hey bro you doing this we can't Fuck with you no more. I got you. Yeah. Well, listen, God, you know, I, like I said, I've been a huge fan. I loved having you on the show. You're so eccentric. Do, is there anything coming up that we can look forward to? Is there an album? I mean, there, do you plan on proceeding with the podcast? Or, or what's going on? What can we expect from you going forward? Yeah, we still, we doing the Humbling Experience podcast. I'll probably keep back up in about two weeks, you know okay. what I'm saying? And we're going to keep having guests. And then on the music shit, never going to stop that. I'm probably going to shoot a video here probably next week. Yeah. Well, my boy, one of mine. So I, I, I'm going to get back on this shit. Let me be in one of the music videos, please. Man, I was really going to tell yeah. you, man, I like this scene up in here. You need to sh- let me shoot a, 
uh, at least like one of them where they hang the mic down. Uh-huh. Let me shoot it up in. Oh, her, up here? Man. What's up? We, I'm sure we can make it happen. All right. I'll bet. get with Mike. <laughs> bet, bet. Let's get it. Cause I, I want to be on the humbling experience too, and I want you to ask me all the questions that nobody will ask me. Yo, for yes. shit, show, okay. bro. We'll make it a movie. Yo, we could do that. Cause <laughs> shit, I I got the next two guests and shit. I yeah. I, I make you the uh, third or the fourth guest. I'm in. I'm right so after them. In. Yes. Bet. About your personal life though. I mean, is there is there a love interest in your life, or are you just kind of married to the music at the moment? Oh, I really don't do no love, bro. Like, mm. shit. I don't know. That shit. I treat this shit like yeah. the flu or something. I don't want no love. I feel like <laughs> this shit is crippling. But if like, you're wearing that to bed, then I'm sure, you know, it makes the it makes it exciting. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I want the goggles. I want to see you 20 times see? while I'm getting pounded in the rear. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Hey, but look, all right. So, okay, that yeah, was gay. I'm sorry. That was gay as <laughs> fuck. My bad. My bad. You good? <laughs> nah, with, uh, nah, with the love life, though, yeah. shit, I just feel like where I'm at right now, I got to focus on yeah. getting to it. Because, like, once you fall in love or you got a relationship, your number one goal is keeping them happy. And I you see. and you can't put your all into whatever your passion is okay. or whatever your goal is to get. I, I agree with you. Get 100%. where you gotta go. That's why I'm still single too. Yeah, because <laughs> this is my this is everything for me. So yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, I feel that, bro. So shit, oh, you already man. know how it is. So shit, like I loved it. I I can't put my all into making somebody happy when right right. I gotta get out here and get my dreams for good. sure. Well, listen, you know I'm rooting for you. I think that your dreams are just some steps away. I think that if you keep doing what you're doing, I think that you're going to be so successful. And when you're at the top, please don't forget about me, please. <laughs> nah, for sure, so I got you, yeah. bro. What, is there anything that you can leave us with before we go? Is there any shout outs or anything, you know, that you want to mention before we go? Yo, um, whole lot of motion, the whole shit, pussy. It's your boy Rico Rodgers and the bitch, man. <laughs> and I'm tuning in with your boy Drew and we got the shit going. It's a, uh, uh, we in Waco, Texas going down with the shit. Y'all yeah, check me out on Instagram. That's at M O E R I C O R O G E O. I mean G E R. Mo Rico <laughs> Rogers on Instagram. On, on anything, bro. You know what I'm saying? On Facebook, whatever. That's what's up. Shout out my boy. Shout out to my shooter, Nick with the stick. Shout out to my driver, Noah. You know what I'm talking about? And Love Noah. And he, he he made himself absent the whole time. <laughs> I don't know if he's scared or what. Yeah, he was scared, man. Are you scared? I, I don't bite, I promise. <laughs> he's the one in your entourage that's cute. <laughs> Listen, before we go, <laughs> to Marigo Roger, I appreciate you coming on to the podcast. Thank you so much. It was such an honor to finally meet you. To everybody that tuned into this episode, please don't forget, follow this guy's music. Follow his his career at Marigo Roger on all streaming platforms. Now, before we go, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public affair this episode was brought to us by soco soccer academy with dominic gutierrez and ariana gutierrez located at 3304 franklin avenue they offer team small group and individual skills training with elite skills training like pros with george de leon to make your kids superb star athletes the public affair is also a very proud sponsor of the soco soccer teams coach by my brother maro maldonado love you bro keep doing your thing to soco soccer academy thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair of course the hummingbird party backdrops and decor ana limones call for our party decor including beautiful balloon props giving an extra flair to your party or event with a number of wooden backdrops and so much more call the number on the screen to hummingbird body backdrops and decor my girl Anna limones thank you so much for all you do for me on the show of course the brothers roofing and remodeling with jesus sanchez from mart texas a small construction business for mart specializing in general roofing needs and so much more protect your home from the crazy elements of the texas weather with his high quality and affordable work follow on facebook and call the number on the screen to my boy jesus sanchez thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of the public affair and of course to my boy jeffrey morreau at home for your foil box and all your home for all your led needs and auto accessories and Installation and stairs, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom stuff for enclosures and so much more. A jacket of all trades and your one stop stop. Your one shot stop to get everything done in one roof. So my boy Jeffrey Monreal, thank you so much. Uh, Mo Rico Rogers took all the, the clothes off during what well, during the ads. This is his identity, everybody. Get it. Yeah, Allison, get it. <laughs> thank you so much. Is it getting hot? Is that what's going on? There, oh my god. Wait, 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 what did I miss? What did I miss? What are you gonna tell us? Whole lot of most no ho shit pussy. It's your boy Rico Rods in it, bitch man. And uh we in it bitch. Uh, 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 uh. What are, what are my mouses? I'm trying to take some out to the head, man. Oh he he already down the bottle. I Is he recording? Is he recording? Yes, oh, no, yes. he's taking a picture. He recording. He's taking a picture. Listen, don't forget to always, always, always. And I've got more on the way. Keep it between us. <laughs> take a picture. Take a picture. Go ahead, take a picture. Okay. 
This has been a Rogue Media Network 